up guys, Tanner here with Trouts. We're back for five plays that we'll go through the month of April. We are bank side here at Deckers along the South Platte drainage. Um, we got our good friend, Umpqua Signature Tire, Pat Dorsey with us. Um, so you could imagine what the five flies are gonna be this month. Um, we're gonna kind of focus on, on the South Platte drainage, whether it's Deckers, 11 Mile Canyon, Cheeseman, Dreamstream, all that type of stuff. Um, five flies that'll get you through the month of April. <laughs> How five flies is gonna work this month is Pat's basically gonna break down five flies that he uses along the South Platte drainage. I'll name the flies. Pat will give you a breakdown of why you should use the flies, because trust me, the guy catches a lot more fish on the South Platte than I do. Fly number one for April is gonna be the Mercury Black Beauty. And Pat will tell you why. This time of year, you can expect to see some uh, very reliable midge hatches during the mornings that'll last till about midday. That time, we're gonna fish mid column. So Black Beauty with a Merc bead on it is gonna imitate that gas bubble effect that occurs when the midges are coming off. So it's a great choice this time of year. Fly number two to get you through April is going to be the Mercury Midge. And here, here's Pat to tell you why. The Mercury Midge is one of my uh, favorite attractors in a tandem nymphing rig. I typically will lead off with a Mercury Midge, drop a Black Beauty in the middle, and a Top Secret Midge as my trailer. Number three that's gonna get you through the month of April is gonna be the Top Secret Midge. Once again, I will let Pat tell you why. There's no doubt that the Top Secret Midge is one of my favorite midge imitations. I typically use it when I see adult midges hovering above the water surface. And I typically fish it with a size six split shot mid column. Dude, that was freaking even better. <laughs> Woo! Is that gonna work? <laughs> Number four that's gonna get you through the month of April, we're gonna to move to the Betis. So number four is gonna be the Mercury Betis. You could also throw in a Mercury Pheasant Tail as well. And I will let Pat tell you why. This is one of the most exciting times of the year. Starting mid-March until the latter part of March, we start to see sporadic hatches of Betis. And then moving into the first week of April, we see some very thick hatches of Betis. During that time frame in which we will be nymphing transitional zones with Betis nymphs, looking for suspended fish that are just voraciously feeding in the riffles that time of year.
right, number five that's going to get you through the month of April is going to be the Mercury RS2. As you guys already know, we talk about RS2s just about every month. And this month it should be the Mercury RS2 because Pat Dorsey says so, and here's why. The Mercury RS2 is no doubt a great betas emerger pattern, and it's specifically important for anglers this time of year, the latter part of March, early into April, and extending clear into the month of May. The RS2 is no doubt a must have in the South Platte drainage. got them on I should probably leave them on huh whatever you want to do or yeah. you could be like I'm taking my sunglasses out for the baby. last one yeah the last one sure I'll just leave them on that wraps up five flies to get you through the month of April again we really appreciate you guys tuning in and we really appreciate Pat Dorsey hanging out with us because I mean who wouldn't enjoy Pat Dorsey hanging out with you um you know where to find us troutsflyfishing.com in the shop all that good stuff and also check out Pat Dorsey it's pretty easy to find Pat Dorsey you know where to find Pat Dorsey Bat, bat signals. Bat signals of Pat Dorsey. Yeah. You know, he's got like a Batman signal. Yeah. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Have a good April and enjoy the rest of spring. Fishing is good, so please go fish. South Platte is really picking up. Not for me as much as it is for Pat Dorsey. But.